On the evening of May 15th, 2023, flocks of rail fans would be out all across Ohio and Pennsylvania to witness one of the rarest moves of this year, maybe even the decade. On April 18th, a beautifully restored and repainted Alco PA locomotive left Portland, Oregon, down for its new home on the Delaware and Lackawanna Railroad in eastern Pennsylvania. The locomotive in question would be Nickel Plate Road number 190. One of the many projects of Doyle McCormack, this locomotive did not enter service as a nickel plate engine. 190 actually began life in December of 1948, built for the Ashton, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, numbered 62L. It operated under that identity for 19 years until it was sold to the Delaware and Hudson Railway in December of 1967, along with three other retired PA locomotives, where it was renumbered to 18. In 1978, the DNH sold these same three locomotives to the National Railway of Mexico. The unit was put out of service in 1981 and sat for a number of years until historian and rail preservationist Doyle McCormack obtained the damaged and gutted unit and brought it back to the United States in the year 2000. Restoration began in 2002. Soon after, it became a display piece at the Oregon Rail Heritage Center. In 2023, Genesee Valley Transportation Company bought the locomotive for operation on their famed Delaware and Lackawanna Railway, based out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Almost a month after it had left Portland, the stunning Alco product was set to hit Northeast Ohio. After a series of delays and setbacks in Cleveland, the train wouldn't reach us in Mentor until after nightfall. But this wasn't a worry, as we had plenty of other action to keep us busy in the meantime. I unfortunately did not video the first train of the evening, which would be CSX I-009 flying westbound from Port Newark, New Jersey. After about 20 or so minutes, we heard a maintenance crew get permission east of the siding at Willoughby to the small yard located in Painesville. With us being located right in the middle of those areas, we set up to watch a boom truck roll past our cameras, with a set of gondolas trailing behind it. There has been lots of maintenance work on the rails in Northeast Ohio recently, and inside the gondolas were fresh ties to assist with the process. After this short maintenance move had gotten into the siding and cleared up, our next train of the evening would be CSX M561 with a fresh SD70 Mace in the lead and an aging YN2 C40-8W second out. M561 with the 4582 in the lead. Permission pass my conditional stop board. Beginning at QD 159.0 and ending at QD 160.0. Check to the west direction. Massively authorized for your train. Over. Roger, that was stated correctly at 1728. Over. Rocky, his name, Marco.
Nickel Plate 190 would be on an eastbound NS310, but unfortunately, due to this line being single tracked, it would have to sit and wait for a plethora of westbound traffic to clear as the afternoon sun gave away into golden evening lighting. While waiting for our first Norfolk Southern westbound, we see CSX M367 rumbling by in the distance. First up through the block would be Norfolk Southern 309 with a trio of NS and UP locomotives. Third out in the contest would be Norfolk Southern SD40-2 number 3483 with a small Delaware and Hudson sticker next to the numbers. The second NS train we would see would be a rerouted 15M, with an assortment of Norfolk Southern and BNSF motive power. This train would usually turn south in Ashtabula and take the Youngstown line in order to get to Conway, Pennsylvania, but due to a derailment in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, 14M and 15M have temporarily been routed via Cleveland, while the FRA and maintenance crews examine the bridge and other damages done to the area. Third and fourth units on this train, BNSF SD70 Mac 9581 and BNSF SD70 Ace 9027 brought a train of storage cars to Ashtabula Harbor five days prior and are heading back west. Next in line would be Norfolk Southern 315, with a Union Pacific ET44 AC in the lead and an SD70 AH of the same road on the rear, acting as a distributed power unit. At the throttle of this train would be Danny, the Lake Erie District's most well-known engineer.
after this, we left to go get some dinner, as Norfolk Southern 265 was also lying through the block before 310 could move. Just after nightfall, 310 proceeds east out of Cleveland and is seen here passing our cameras in Mentor, Ohio. Even though it was dark out, the light from a nearby building helped illuminate the beautiful Nickel Plate Road 190 on its way eastbound over the original Nickel Plate trackage through northeast Ohio. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos just like this.